Hello students, welcome to the channel Physics by Dr. Pragna and today we are going to see what are these rotary diagrams. We have recently started with a new series of the experimental techniques in which we have started with the first unit uh, which is the vacuum technology. Okay, there are three building blocks of the uh, vacuum technology unit and which consists of this uh, uh, pumps, gauge and leak detectors. So these vacuum pumps are used to generate the vacuum. So let us first uh, uh, see what are the rotary vent pump which are used to generate the uh, low or a medium vacuum. So let us see. So this rotary vent pump. So let me tell you that uh, in an uh, experimental techniques paper, okay, uh, these diagrams are very much important. So uh, I'm not uh, drawing the diagrams previously. And drawing the uh, diagram, the video will, is purposely kept on so that you can understand how to draw these diagrams. Okay, so drawing of these diagrams is really important in these experimental techniques. Okay, so let us see this is a rotary vent pump. Will consist of a rotor and some oil gap is there so here is the inlet which is connected to the sample chamber okay so in this sample chamber so where you want to generate the vacuum that sample chamber unit is connected and here is the outlet this whole arrangement so this is a stationary part which is called as a vector So this is a stationary part. I will explain everything in detail in just a few minutes. So this whole arrangement has been kept inside this draw this gas ballast a little bit above of this a little bit below of this and here are the So 
these are the lighting grains. This is the uh, construction of this uh, rotary vane pump. This rotary vane pump, it will consist of, these are called as a lighting vanes, which is the mechanical part which will remove the air out. This is the sample chamber. In which we want to create the vacuum. So this part it is called as a rotor and this part it is called as a stator. This is the oil gap. Oil fill or gap, whatever you want to say, and this is a coolant oil. And yes, the most important thing is the gas balance. Now see here. This is a sample chamber where we want to create the vacuum, okay. And uh, this we know that this rotary vent pump comes under the positive displacement pump. So in the positive displacement pump, uh, what we do is we remove the air molecules mechanically uh, from the sample chamber, okay. So what we have done, uh, this uh, rotary vent pump consists of a stationary part so this color part which is called as a stator, I have named it here. So that remains stationary, okay. And to that stator, okay, one rotating part which is called as a rotor has been connected eccentrically. Eccentrically means this rotor is not present exactly at the center of the rotor, okay. It is placed eccentrically, it is placed or it is attached to the stator uh, and it is fixed uh, only with the help of a, uh, so this uh, oil film of uh, the thin oil layer is there. Okay, so this uh, rotor is eccentrically placed uh, to the stator. Okay, now uh, what is the structure of this uh, uh, rotor? So this uh, rotor consisting of sliding veins, some rod like structure are there and these two rod like structures are connected with the help of a spring to each other. So this uh, rotor keeps on rotating with the help of some electrical motor and along with this rotor these sliding vanes will also rotate like this okay now how these sliding vanes are there they are fixed in the slotted rotor what is mean by a slotted rotor so just see here i would like to draw it here suppose this is the horizontal view of this rotor so if i take this rotor uh, so the rotor is like this if i take a horizontal view of this then it will have some slot over here so this is called as a slotted rotor okay and through this slotted rotor the rotary vanes uh, are going through they are fixed to the uh, this rotor uh, and they are fixed in this slots okay and at the middle, at the center, uh, they are uh, connected by the strings. And if I take a, you know, say, vertical view of this, so it will look something like this. So this is the sliding way in which is connected. So this is the vertical view of this rotor. Okay, so it is... Uh, through the slots, okay, the slots are there to the rotor and the veins are passing through that rotor, okay. So, this is how the uh, construction of the rotor is. Rotor is kept moving uh, with an electrical motor with a speed of nearly, uh, say, uh, 800 to 900 RPMs. Okay, sometimes this uh, means depending on this RPM, uh, the pumping speed will depend. 
okay so sometimes now uh, nowadays updated versions uh, sometimes they consist of nearly 1400 to 1500 rpms also okay now see and let us see so this is all about the construction so see here when you are writing an exam so in this exam so this attractive diagram along with this uh, proper uh, uh, names like sliding mains, stator and rotor, coolant and uh, gas balance, you are going to get full marks. Okay, now let us see uh, what is the, uh, how it works. Okay, so let us see what is the working principle of this. Now see here, yeah, this uh, uh, rotary bearing pump is connected to this um, sample chamber. So initially, for example, if you uh, see here, this is the uh, position of this sliding mains. Now, uh, this rotor is kept moving with some uh, 800 to 1400 rpms and this sliding vents will keep on rotating continuously. Now see, suppose there is a situation when this sliding vents go, go somewhere here. Okay, now here you can see that as they are connected with the springs, okay, when the distance is reduced, the spring is going to compress. When the distance is increased, the spring will expand. Okay, so as to maintain the contact between the sliding vanes and the uh, stator outside okay so these are continuously touching this status okay so this is how the arrangement of the sliding vanes is made okay so now suppose there is a situation so let me draw it by um, dotted so this is the situation I hope you can see this. So this is the situation when this rotor has moved to this position. So I have made it. Okay. So let me show it by some different color. Okay. So let me show it by some yellow color. Now suppose that this rotor has been moved this position okay okay so now rotor has moved to this position okay now this position is not there now you can see that this this air gap between this stator and the rotor is open now and the air molecules from this sample chamber are ready to enter into this Okay, now the air molecules have been entered uh, from the sample chamber to this uh, rotary vane pump. Now suppose that, so again this uh, rotor has been uh, moving and the situation, so the, when the same situation is attained once again, now what happens, now see here, this position is attained once again, but here the difference is, so now air molecules have been trapped inside this. So see here. So this has been removed again. And the air molecules have been trapped inside this now. Okay. So these are the air molecules. Now as the rotor keep on moving, what happens? So this as this, this distance or this volume is greater than this volume, when this rotor uh, keeps on moving, the sliding wings keeps on moving, then the air will get compressed at some uh, certain positions of this uh, sliding wings. For example, if the situation is like this, so here, in this situation, the air molecules get compressed. Now, we can see that this when this air molecules get compressed, uh, there is a probability of condensation as the um, uh, air number air, as large number of the air molecules are compressed in a smaller volume there is a possibility of a condensation that's why the uh, gas ballast is used over here so purpose of the gas ballast is to uh, add the gas with a uh, higher vapor pressure which is a very volatile so gas ballast will consist of uh, high vapor pressure gas. Okay. Now what this gas will do? It will not allow the uh, gas to condense. Okay. So what happens due to this gas ballast? 
Uh, of course, the efficiency of this uh, rotary vane pump may reduce due to the gas ballast. But with the help of a gas ballast, uh, you can uh, go to the uh, higher vacuums. Okay, with the help of this gas ballast. Okay, now once this uh, uh, gas ballast uh, uh, of the smaller amount of this uh, high vapor pressure gas has been added to this. Okay, now here is a uh, valve which can open only on one side. Okay, if uh, now we know that this uh, vapor pressure has been increased. Okay, so, and which is more than this atmospheric pressure. So therefore, this valve will open and the air will goes out. Okay. So thus, we can see that the air molecules which are present in the sample chamber, uh, they are again came back, they are again coming back when this uh, rotary or the sliding veins are moving okay, in a forward direction. The air molecules will come over here. Okay, the air molecules will get compressed due to the addition of the higher vapor pressure. There will not be any condensation due to the increase in the uh, pressure of this gas molecules so this valve will open up and the uh, gas molecules will move away from this uh, uh, outlet okay so this is an inlet and this is an outlet so this is how with the help of this rotary vent pump uh, we can remove the air molecules uh, continuously uh, from the uh, sample chamber as this uh, 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 rotor is moving very uh, high speed okay at uh, nearly 800 to 1400 rpms okay and a large amount of heat is generated okay so this is there is a possibility of uh, heating of this stator therefore this whole arrangement has been kept in this uh, oil or uh, any coolant okay now see here with the help of the rotary vein pump we can reach uh, the uh, pressure or we can draw the diagram uh, for the uh, pumping speed like so where should i draw this okay i hope you can see it okay now see here so it is nearly 10 raised to minus 1 10 raised to minus 5 this is top this is the pumping speed. Okay. So with the help of this uh, rotary vent pump, so this is uh, this solid line is uh, with uh, gas ballast. And this is zero gas ballast. So this is a solid line and this is a dotted line. Okay. So what is the mean by what is the meaning of this? Uh, with a gas ballast, see here, uh, the efficiency of this uh, rotary vent pump can be reduced, but so still, with the help of a gas ballast, you can go uh, for the higher uh, vacuums. So, so with the help of uh, this rotary vent pump, you can attain the vacuum uh, of the nearly 10 to minus 5 torque. If you are using the two or more rotary vent pumps in series, you can attain even uh, more vacuum. I hope you understand this. And when you are writing this, all these things in exam, just do not forget to highlight the words like gas ballast, oil fins, sliding mid, stator and rotor. Okay, you are going to get full marks. Thank you for watching.